Hey, Saints. What's up? Oh, I might want to put some sunscreen on my nose. Is my nose red? I just goes like a tail. Well, maybe it's just a reflection on the it does video turn camera. Up at the end, yeah. Well, it, that's not right. He said it turns up at the end. Just a little bit. Anyhow, sister with a testimony, and my husband is helping here. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, yeah, that's right. She ain't got a big nose. When you ski off of it, go boop, little ski bump at the end. Doop. Kind of like mine. See, I got a little ski bump. Boop. Uh, yeah, it's not the same. He's just, he's really liking that. So, anyhow, <laughs> saints with a testimony. Uh huh. So, we're out here, and um, it's really kind of cool because I found some um, flowers. Aren't they pretty? Just a little patch of flowers. And um, so, I was video, and I said, Oh, look at that beautiful purple patch of wild flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? And, um, Matthew 6, uh, the Lord is telling us, um, if you read it, that we shouldn't be worried about what we're going to wear because he clothes the flowers in the field in um, just amazing brilliance. So, just wanted to share something with you quickly, saints, uh, about this big green field and there's little patches of beautiful purple flowers all around. We're checking them out the other day and praying and uh it's kind of like wow that is so gorgeous isn't that beautiful and then you kind of look at the the view of the pond and um i don't see any other little patches in this little area on the other side of the truck there's another patch but they're sporadic so it's like how the Lord just puts little beautiful colors in the springtime. But, yeah, um, yeah, what? Where? Yeah, All right, let's see. He said, here, hold the camera over there so they can. Oh, he's going to make it so we can see him. Okay. Well, you know, most people are like, oh, they're just weeds. But no, they're beautiful wildflowers. Look at those. And look, oh, look. Close up. Close up. Uh, think about it, saints. Those little flowers, uh, a lot of people say, oh, those are just weeds. I don't care. They're still pretty. Even the weeds are beautiful. Um, I seen a sign the other day, saints, that said, um, plant seeds that become flowers, not weeds. So, anyhow, Thank you, Jim, for making it a little humorous. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have him help me with the videos. He's kind of humorous. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, somebody's got to do it, right? Oh, no. Oh, and you know, if you say Donald Trump on Facebook, they're liable to ban you. So, anyhow, we're talking about Matthew chapter 6. How the beautiful flowers in the field are arrayed um, by God himself. And um, even the wild flowers are beautiful. The Lord told me the other day. Everything that he's created is beautiful. And I was like, even the buzzards? And it was really cool because the other day, saints, we seriously, look at that beautiful property. We seriously seen this two buzzards um, doing what two buzzards do, and they decided to um, land right next to the pickup. And um, I, I got to look at that buzzard. I, I hollered at him. I literally hollered at the buzzard. I said, "Hey, you!" He stopped. And he looked at me. I said, "You're actually gorgeous." And he flew off. And uh, Sister Bridget was like, man, I've never seen a buzzard do that before. I said, well, I was speaking to him as one of God's creatures. And um, he had to obey. Thanks, Jim. Hey, anyhow, even buzzards are beautiful because God made them. And the Lord told me, oh, hi, butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Look. Isn't that awesome? The butterfly wanted to be on video. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful butterfly. He's having a hard time. It's a little windy out here, Saints. But anyhow, we're
we're talking about fishing and buzzards and flowers, but our scripture reference was really uh, what I was trying to get to before Jim was, you know, telling me that buzzard talk, um, he was trying to interpret the, the buzzard talk for me. I just basically told the buzzard he was, he was really gorgeous. You know, um, buzzards, they don't have any feathers around their eyes and their beak uh, because it's usually, yeah, it wouldn't be conducive to them being clean. I know it doesn't sound right for a buzzard to be clean, well, but they really are. Like that, don't you? Well, why don't you, why don't you tell us? Because they eat what? Dead stuff. And they got to stick their head into a carcass to eat. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be conducive to them having feathers on their head. But I'd never seen one up close, and he was actually rather handsome if you look at him in God's eyes. Look like a burnt turkey. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Okay, well, anyhow, we're going to just get to the scripture real quick. It says, hold on, Matthew chapter 6. Um, hmm, hold on, I'm finding it. I don't have my specs on. And why ye take thought for raiment. Yeah. We're, again, we're talking about the beautiful flowers. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And the word says, and I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So, again, saints, I just happened to see the purple flowers, and they were really pretty. And I um, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I think the buzzard talk and the fun was just a little extra adage there. But um, anyhow, think about how gorgeous everything God made in its place, in its purpose, is beautiful. You are beautiful, exactly the way God made you. And that's the point I'm trying to make. It doesn't matter if your nose turns up and, you know, your husband makes a little fun of you sometimes or maybe your nostrils aren't completely perfect or blah, blah, blah. Like, well, we all know that Jim is, he's, yeah, he's absolutely perfect for me. Um, anyhow, the Lord made you, whether you're the wildflower or the daisy or the carnation or what, don't worry about what you're going to wear because the Lord can provide. And if he made the flowers beautiful, think how much more beautiful he made you. And when he sees you, he says, wow, that's a masterpiece. Don't let people put you down. Even if they're joking. You know, I'm cool with Jim because I already know I have a little, you know, slide off the end of my nose. It's not because it's up in the air. Stop laughing, Jim. Ha, ha, ha. I'm trying to be serious here. He said, so, yeah. I'm married to that. Like, I'm going on 25 years now. <laughs> he keeps me serious, right? I'm a serious one. He's the, yeah, anyhow. What was I saying? Ski jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes i love jimmy street um jesus loves you just the way he made you because he made you and it don't matter if you think you're pretty or ugly or fat or skinny or tall or short don't matter what you think don't matter what anybody thinks god made you in his image he can clothe you with the beautiful raiment more beautiful than a wildflower so don't be letting nobody put nothing on you except the Lord. And if they ain't talking Lord talk to you, don't be accepting no buzzard talk and no putting down or any of that stuff. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and you have a purpose and God has a plan for you. I'm, I'm speaking it. I'm speaking it. I'm going to use a Bridget sign language. Yeah. I declare and decree over you that you were fearfully and wonderfully made and the Lord has a plan for you. Have a he has a purpose for you. And if he can dress the flowers in the field, uh-huh, he can certainly take care of you and make sure you got something to wear and something to eat, a roof over your head. He'll heal you. He'll set you free. He'll deliver you and sanctify you. I don't need to preach to y'all. I just need to bless you today. Sister with a testimony with my sweet little husband, saint with a testimony. Yeah.
Uh -huh. um, we love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Um, we're going to go ride around and check this. Uh, oh, beautiful property. Check it out, Saints. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? So if the Lord can dress them flowers, he can certainly take care of you. Sister with a testimony out in the field with Jim. Peace out. I don't want no peace sign. In no. The only peace sign I want to see is Jesus and him crucified. I'll talk to him later about the peace sign. Peace out. Uh, no, no peace out. The devil Man, is a liar. I need to explain to him what that means. That's a yeah. Gross. So anyhow, yeah, just sometimes see you, if you don't know any better, if you're ignorant about something, yeah. I'll, I'll explain that later, the peace sign. All right. God bless you. Love you. Later.